I pray and we hope that we understand and then move on so well as we are expecting. Uh, today we are going to talk about mathematics and uh, I'm sure as uh, the program says it all, we are going to discuss more about uh, mathematics. Now, um, just uh, by just a quick introduction, my name is uh, Samali Moses, that's my name. And um, I'm a teacher by profession. I teach uh, mathematics uh, and also ICT as well. So I'm a math and ICT teacher. And uh, I teach at uh, a school in Lugazi, at his secondary school in Lugazi. And uh, I do a lot more of mathematics as well as uh, ICT uh, in the education sector. Now, uh, I've been told to discuss to us about the new curriculum as far as uh, mathematics is concerned. And uh, I want us to zero down to focus so much to this subject. I know other subjects will have similar things as far as the new curriculum is concerned. Now we should all be aware that uh, uh, two years ago, uh, the government put up a new curriculum for us to follow. And they, we are part of the people who are going to take on this curriculum. So my role today is to try to ensure that we have a closer look at what we expect. So today I'm going to look at uh, what do we expect as far as uh, this is concerned. And one, we're going to first discuss to us about why are we studying this mathematics. And we'll also talk about the syllabus coverage that we are supposed to look at. What are we supposed to learn? Okay. Having known why we are looking at the math, then we're going to see what are we supposed to learn at that given stage. Then also we shall look at the some expectations. You as a learner, you as a student, what are you expected to do, okay? And how are you expected to do things? Is it the same way as you've been doing them in primary section or in a different way as we shall be able to see? And finally, we'll also look at how are we going to be assessed? Okay, assessment is how are we going to be examined, okay? Our examinations will not be as the same, the same as we, be knowing them, but there is a bit of change. So we are going to see how are these changes. And these changes are through the other subjects. And I'm sure in one way or the other, you may have uh, looked at the assessment of other subjects, but we should be knowing that there is a new trend of assessment that is there. So um, that, that is what we learn. And in case there is a question, or in a comment, you will bring it up at the end of it all. So uh, to start with, all of us, I know, we have dreams, okay? I know some of you here want to be managers, some of you want to be engineers, some of you want to be accountants, some of you want to be scientists, Um, others want to be lawyers, be teachers here. Um, all, sorry, sorry, sorry. All right. So all those careers that you see there, okay? Talk about, uh, these are just a few. These are just a few. Even politics, some of you want to be politicians. Others want to be sportsmen and women. Others want to be just in the market. You just want to do marketing. You want to do business. You want to be astronauts. So we are all these careers that you see here, OK, is one of the objectives as well. We are looking at this. Thank you. 
you want to be an engineer, are you going to be an engineer? You want to be um, a banker, are you going to be a banker without mathematics? Definitely, you're not going to be uh, 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 maybe an architect, okay, a planner. You are going to do so with the mathematics that is there. So, what I try to drive at, you're saying that all these careers that we are looking out for, there is an element of the mathematics. I know all of us want to be different, different people. If I ask here, all of us, I know everyone has his or her own dream and you would like to be someone. But I want to assure you that with this mathematics here, you can go miles and miles and miles, okay? You can go very far. So if you even don't know some careers, if you don't know some of them, you can even copy from there. Yeah, and you see, but all these ones here require the mathematics, okay? So in these careers here, mathematics is important in such a way that one, it helps us to solve problem, okay? And it is what we are calling problem solving skills. That is one of the key elements. I know I may talk about so many things, we have limited time, but if you have this, this skill here called the problem solving skill, okay? The problem solving skill, be sure you are going to be a star out there. What do we mean by sol a problem solving skill or, or problem solving skills? It means that you are going to see a problem somewhere and it is you to be there to help us give us a solution, okay? Now, mathematics engages us in such things okay? that you are going to be a solution to most of the problems that are, I know right now, if we start mentioning problems in the country, maybe in the world and everything, you will realize there will be so many, and there's not one person that is needed to solve them, okay? And we look on to the mathematician. And right now, uh, we are into a pandemic, that is the COVID-19 that is there. But believe me, it is the scientists who have done this mathematics that are able to predict and tell you that, you know what? Tomorrow we may be able to get this. Next day we shall get this. Next day, this is what is expected. If you do this, that means this will happen. Now, members, this is all, that is all the math. Okay? You will not get someone who has the, 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 maybe the history of the whole world who is going to come and tell you, now the pandemic is here, this is what we expect, okay? So, once you are a mathematician, be sure you are going to develop those skills, okay? okay? You are going to develop skills of solving problems. Even by the way, it all starts even at home, when we are at home out there, when we are at home. Okay, uh, some people are, okay? Those of you who are joining in, please make sure you mute. Uh, Christine and the others. Please make sure you mute, uh, just to, to avoid that interruption. Oh. Okay, so uh, we are saying that you are supposed to develop those problems, so even at home, okay? If something is missing out, and if you have the scale of solving these issues with, with the relationship to math, be sure you are going to be a very vital point. So mathematics teaches us those skills, okay? Teaches us those skills that we need to find solutions from the math. Now, this syllabus that we are going to look at, the syllabus that we look at, the new syllabus that we are going to look at, it basically helps us to do this, okay? Earlier on, let me give an example. All of us know that one plus one, okay, is two. We all know this. Huh? When you get one plus one, you get two. All of us know that, okay? But how can you be able to get that one plus one to get two, to bring it out in real life, okay? How can you use it 
to make a solution or to bring up a solution to a certain problem. Okay, so this syllabus here literally does not focus on you knowing one plus one. Ah, ah, ah. No, no, no. I know all of you, you know one plus one. I'm going to dive into the syllabus and you will see that most of the things that you're going to cover, you even know them very well on your fingertips. Okay, you know how to get the abac, you look at the abacus and so many other things, but there is more for you to learn. And that is gaining, that's it, problem solving skill. Another skill that we are going to, we get in this class is what we call analytical skills. Analytical means try to look at something critically over and over to pick meaning out of it. You're analyzing it, you can look at it, take an example, when you're at home, Okay? And you look at that polythene bag, which where they put bread. Then you start thinking about it. Like, what if I get this bag here and I put soil there? And if I put soil there and I put a plant, can it grow? What if I do this and the other? So those are the skills that you're able to develop, that you and you're able to analyze items and you get solutions out of it. So we learn how to develop those what you call the analytical skills okay you look at something critically and you pick meaning out of it at the end of it all so those are the skills that we are looking at developing then another thing and very key thing is to make rational rational decisions now a rational decision is a decision which you look at both sides eh? If I take this, it is the best choice, okay? Taking the best choice. If you have several choices, like for example, I know some of us fail to choose. Daddy says, uh, between shoes and a dress, which one should I buy for you? Then you're like, mm, Daddy, I don't know. Like, really, how do you not know? Okay? But someone who has learned to make those decisions in mind, say, okay, I will take on the shoes, because these shoes here, okay, you will have reasons as to why you're choosing the shoes. You say, ah, maybe I need these shoes here because I have more dresses in the wardrobe. So I don't need more dresses. It's a decision you have taken after thinking, after thinking about something. So we say you've made a thorough decision. And mathematics helps us with this. Okay, now I'm going to show you how we are going to look at this. How do I generate these skills? How do I generate these skills? Okay, as well in the study here as well. So I've picked out those three major skills, things that we are going to learn from this mathematics. And trust me, dear learners, when you put your effort into this, when you love something, when you love this mathematics here, it's going to be a walk of and it is going to be something which is going to take you higher and higher okay i know you may have issues you may have had issues with math and say ah it is hard it has a lot of things but the more you try to dive into it the better for you okay okay the better for you so try as much as you can to try to look at this. And that is the sole reason as to why we are going to look at this eh, mathematics. Then, uh, moving on, we are saying, as we, as we, as we, as we keep on uh, working through, these are uh, you, you, okay, so we're here. So let's look at the syllabus. What are we going to study? Okay, what are we going to study? Okay, now I want you to have this in mind. Look at this, have this in mind. Make sure at any one moment you have the syllabus book with you. And I repeat this at all times, okay, at all times, make sure you have the syllabus book with you at all times. These books have been, I'm sure you've been told that these books are out there, there are so many. 
and you must have a copy. Tell daddy, tell mommy, you may at least miss out a kilo of sugar, but you buy that book for yourself, okay? Because it is going to be a very vital instrument as far as your coverage is concerned, okay? If you have that book, then be sure you're going to work through. So what are we going to study? What are we going to, what, are we, what do we expect to study? It's something I told you one, these, all the things you're going to study, most of them, you've looked at them in primary, okay? You've looked at them in primary, but remember, this is another level altogether. So what does this mean? It means that much as you know one plus one is two, can you be able to apply that in real life? Okay, I'm going to give you some examples. You're going to see a certain topic. Yeah? I'm going to show you some topics. Very simple. All of you can do it so well. But when we are, when you're told to do a certain question, you realize that you need certain skills to be able to work it out. So what we are saying is, be cautious. Of these simple things. Yes, we are no longer going to say. Uh, now sort of a bit, and then close the chapter. No, dear learners, we're going to go beyond that. Okay, we are going to go beyond that. Okay, as we are going to see. So let's look at the syllabus here critically, and I'm going to share it with you. So as I said, this content is similar to what you have done at your primary. It's not really different. Okay, it's 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 not different. Actually, we shared when you check through the chart, eh, we shared with you that he pointed the, the, the syllabus and the, and how you can be able to access it. So if you don't have it, you can even try to download it and then you can be able to get it. Now, I, 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 my interest is to for us to look at this book here. Okay, let's look at this book here, and then um, and then we see. What happens? What do we need to know? Um, let me pick on something here, okay? Okay, so we are going to look at, okay, it's here. Okay, so uh, I'm going to look through this syllabus and then we see how it is. And I'm, as I say, these topics here, you have looked at them. Okay, they are with you. Let me, okay, let me try to pick it from here. Okay, let's, 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 let's let me try to pick it possibly from this point. So, and I'm sure most of you should have got it. You should have downloaded that book with you and uh, i'm sure you have looked at the you've looked at it at some given point and um okay it's over here so here we are i hope you can be able to see the screen i hope we can be able to see the screen uh, can we able to, are you seeing something, the screen, the screen, I hope you are seeing the new sharing. Okay. okay. Yeah. Very good. So this is the, this is the book, by the way, be careful which book you're supposed to get. Your book is supposed to have what you call the learner's book. Okay. Not the teacher's book. Yes. Okay. Those books are two and they look similar. So look at the learner's book. Don't go for teacher's book. Teacher's book may not help you much. Eh? Teacher's book may not help you much. So make sure you have what for the learner's book. Now, as I say, dear learners, these topics here, you have looked at all of them. Eh? You've looked at most of these topics here. But as I say, we are looking at how are we applying this work here? So take an example. All of us have looked at number bases. Who has never looked at a, who has never looked at converting numbers from one base to another? Who hasn't looked at that? 
Anyone who has not looked at that in primary, you raise up your hand. All of you have done so. So do you see that they are the same things? We have the number bases. You're going to learn how to convert numbers from one given base to another. You know, they have base 10, they have base, base 2, okay? Base 8, base 7, all those ones. So we learn how to do those conversions again. Then, working with integers. I know we did integers. Huh? We did integers. You see? Odd numbers, even numbers, highest common factor, lowest common factor. Okay? LCM, the HCF. Okay. So, do you see that these are the same things? Uh, there's nothing new. There's really nothing new that is here. Okay. Everything appears to be what? To be the same. Let me show you another topic. Look at this topic fractions. Those of you who were in, um, in the previous Edify lessons that were there. Okay. You looked at the different types of fractions where I had improper fractions, proper fractions, okay? The mixed fractions, you looked at how to add, subtract fractions, and some other things. Eh? We looked at them, okay? And even in primary, you also looked at them as well, yeah. okay? We also looked at them as well. Let me take a, a look at another topic, okay? So you see that all the things here, we had them in, right? But I'm going to show you where the difference comes in from, okay? How does it become different from this, from what we need to have? Where is the difference? Where does it come in from? That is what we need to look at. Then, um, moving on, let's look at another topic. Let's look at another topic. So, as look at this, uh, the candidates, okay? Uh, how to construct constructing those angles 90 degrees 60 degrees 30 degrees okay so you see that you're going to do more construction again okay let me look at another topic here we also have sequences and patterns how do you generate patterns for example if you have two uh if you have one two three how do you predict the next day number in the sequence? That is what you're going to look at as well. Okay. And by the way, these numbers here, you realize that they will be very, very easy. But the application is the key thing. How do we apply that work? Okay. And so many other things, data collection, types of data that we look at. Okay. We shall look at types of data and so many other things. But Looking at all this, I want to share with you what is unique now. Now, you say, but teacher, the things are the same. It's easy. Like we are going to do primary work again. No. And please, don't skip senior one. Yeah? Don't skip. Some people will say, ah, for me, they may leave senior one and I got senior two. You're going to miss a skill. Okay. You're going to miss out something. Okay. So try as much as you can to look through and study everything. And you see what you need to gain, okay? Now, let me now take you to the point of what is now the difference, okay? I'm going to use this topic here. Let me give, uh, let me use this topic here. I think it will be quite uh, easier for us. Let me use this topic of, uh, let me use this topic of uh, this, the one of number bases, eh? which we all know. Huh? We all know this topic here. How do we convert? How do we do those changes and everything? Okay. Let's look at this topic here. Okay. Working with the abacus hmm? operational numbers. Now, let me see, let me show you what you're going to look at there. Let me dive here directly. Look at this. This is what we need to look at. As I said, we know how to do these conversions. All of us, we know. I know we know. Or we try to, if you forgot it, please try to first learn how to carry them on. Now, what do we expect if we have these bases? You're going to look at the bases, binary base, and then the decimal base. Okay? How do you identify bases? 
how do you place values on the abacus? Sincerely, who does it know that? All of us know how to do that. How do you convert numbers from one base to another? Okay. Now, when you look at the coverage, when you look at the things here, look at this. We are identifying numbers and even tell us, take an uh -huh. now look at this. Look at this, and you, you're going to see where the difference now comes in from. So we have been told that in your groups, and I'm going to tell you how we also learn this, how you're going to be assessed. Identify situations you have ever used the number bases in your real life. This one, I want someone to tell me. In your real life, have you seen where number bases are? I know all of us know how to convert, to do the changes and everything, but have you come across a real life situation where number bases are used and where? Who can, who can, who can share with us if you have come across such, like somewhere in your life you've come across number bases being used and you've seen it directly like this? Uh huh. Please put up your hand and share with us. Yes, stand up. Uh, days of the week. Uh huh. How? Uh, because uh, seven days make a week. Because there are seven days in a week. So seven is the base, I think. Seven is the best. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, that's what Tendo Joya said. That in her, in his, is it his or her? Okay, I think I think it is. That in his life, he has seen bases working in what? In number of days. Okay, number of days. So you see that the number of days in a week, which is seven, makes up the base. So you see that. That is base seven. Uh huh. Any other? Any other? Uh, yes, it's a normal Emma. Yes, Emma. Uh, yes, teacher. Yeah, we have vowel letters. Vowel mm -hmm. letters are five. That means in real life we shall have. In a real life situation, there is vowel letters. In a base, there is base five. Then the reason, it's because. Only five letters make up vowel letters. Okay, good. So, we, we, we've seen that from... Uh, okay, so we have seen that. Uh, Isinoma tells us that when you look at the vowel letters, the vowel letters try to bring us a point of that there are five and the five, the five is the best. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. then Chantel. Yes, Chantel. Yes, sir. Uh huh. You're sharing with us. So my answer is twelve months make I. Mm. Because that's best twelve and the months will never change which make I. Yeah, they always main twelve. Will always remain twelve. Okay. Thank you so much, Chantel. So uh, let me talk to another one. Yes, Waninda Joel. Yes, Joel Waninda. Teacher, mine is in computer programming. Yes. When you type a character, maybe you type letter Q, it is converted to binary base. Then the CPU will, will interpret it and the display you get is letter Q. Very good. Okay. Now, uh, by the way, let's 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 leave it to this. Okay. Now, and uh, the, 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 and so many others. Now, dear members, let me give a quick, 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 quick you know, from what Joel has said. That when you see the computer, all of us have used computers or have seen computers. Those computers, they use best to or the binary base to be able to operate the way they are operating, okay? So you realize that the binary base, okay, is a very key element as far as 
mathematics is concerned. Okay. As far as mathematics is concerned, as far as the computers are concerned, you will not see any computer running without that even this. Okay. So you see that that is a real life example where you see bases being applied. So what does this bring us to us? That you do not need to just know only the calculations. Okay. Don't just do the calculations. Try as much as you can to relate with life. Okay. To relate with life. Let me give another example. Let me give another example. Of course, these calculations, we know all of them, and I'm not going to go through them, but I am bringing to you the point of what does this syllabus look at? It looks as you having the knowledge and you apply the knowledge okay, of mathematics. Don't just know how to calculate and you're like, oh, I know how to calculate. I got 100% in primary when I was calculating. No. Try as much as you can to look at the application part of it. Okay. We all know how to read the abacus. Okay. We all know how to read the abacus. To know how to get figures from the abacus. But do we really, do we really know how to apply that in real life? Let me give another example. Look at our questions here now. Let me give you an example of how our questions can be. Uh -huh. Look at this question here. This is still about, look at this question here. Now, in your final examinations, after looking at something, okay? in your final exams, after what you're going to answer, this is what you'll be able to answer. Okay? Now, look at this question here. Working in the groups, working in the groups, by the way, maybe let me also bring this one before we look at it at a later stage, that this syllabus does not teach you to work on your own. Okay? Don't go and cover yourself and you calculate your numbers alone and bring to the teacher to mark. No. Try as much as you can to do the work in groups. I tell my learners that with mathematics, once you share with your friends, you share with your peop the people around you, you are going to be a champion. But if you do not share, there is something you you you'll be there, you'll be getting 51, 52. There is the other percentage that is missing out that you need to share with. Okay. So when you look at assessment, you are going to be assessed as a group, and you're also going to be assessed as what? As an individual. Okay. Let's let's, let's start from here. So we are saying working in groups yeah? this is a for group work okay? this is a this is group work we have an activity here but you see that the activity is not the same as the other one that you've been doing that like solo for a solo for this convert this you have lengthy numbers that are in that given form so you are supposed to work out put heads together okay Okay, put heads together. Okay, as I told you, you're looking at solving problems. Look at this a problem here in this community here. If you're supposed to use huh, that, a community is hit by family, and the government says to give each, each member in the household a potato to solve their problem. Hmm? Every member is having one given potato. And you've been told that you've been given a given number of, and they're telling you, please go and do the distribution. What are you supposed to do? That is what you're going to look at. What are you supposed to do as a mathematician? If at all, but it all starts from home there. If money leaves some given number of items and says, let everyone take equal share. What are you supposed to do? Okay. How are you supposed to share? So that is what we are looking at. Okay. And government 
mathematicians. The governments are looking for these mathematicians who can be able to solve these simple problems. But if you're not a mathematician, if you're not a mathematician, then you cannot solve those given, those given problems, okay? So each of these uh, topics, they are basically going to help us to solve problems, not to just calculate numbers and stop there, okay? See how to solve the problem, okay? Then, uh, uh, there are quite so many. Let me look at this last part here. There is some last part here that I, I also wanted to share with you. Now, there is this topic here. Uh, uh -huh. You see, we, look, we looked at a, a topic of telling time. Huh? All of you, you know how to tell time. Eh? Let, let me actually look at this. We all know how to tell time. Let me, let's share, let's share this. Huh? We know the units of time. You know how to tell time and everything. If I tell someone to, to tell me what is the time right now, tell me very well that it is 20 minutes to, to 11. Okay? But looking at only that is not enough. How can you apply that telling of time in a real life what? Situations. That's what we are looking at. In real life situations. If you can be able to do these conversions here, this is normal conversions that you know. Convert from this time to this other time. Convert from 12 hour clock to 24 hour clock and so many others. But we are looking at how do you apply that? Can you be able to apply that? Look at this. Let me give you a question. Look at this question here about telling time. Let's look at this question about telling time. I am sure all of you you've been to you've been to schools where you have a, a timetable. Okay, so this is it. Look at this question. These are the questions by that you're going to meet. Look at this question here. A primary school has two sections. We have the upper and then the lower. The head teacher needs to draw a timetable. Okay. The head teacher needs to draw a timetable for the entire school. These timetables cannot be drawn by any other person who, who doesn't have knowledge in mathematics. This is why you're now applying your time, telling time from here, you're applying it here. Okay. You know that if break time is from 10, so if the rest, okay. So these are the type of questions you are going to keep meeting, okay? These are the questions you're going to keep meeting, okay? By the way, this is a sample. This timetable is just a sample, but there will be so many other schedules. They can tell you to schedule maybe for the for the for an airport to draw uh, for the, the flights, the different flights for an airport. You can be told to do so. Can you use the knowledge of, uh, of telling time, the knowledge of coming up with timetables, the knowledge of percentages? Okay. So for you to come up with this timetable, look at the look at the knowledge you should be having. Fractions. You must be knowing the knowledge of fractions. You must have knowledge of percentages, numbers, LCM, and so many other things. Okay. So what we are looking at is try to look at that application part of it. Don't just calculate numbers. I'm, I'm saying calculate the numbers, okay? The calculation of numbers gives you like a, okay, it, it will give you like only, like only 20% or 30%. But what will score, will give you a higher score is solving this because we are teaching you to be problem solvers okay i have a story of one of uh, i interacted with one of the parents one of the parents and it's like at home here we have two students two people the two children here one has gone to school another one has not gone to school but the one who has gone to school the one who has gone to school knows a lot of mathematics on paper he, he can calculate any number, any number. 
very fast. But when you take this that same child to the shop, the child cannot. When you give when you give the child five thousand and you need balance, the child cannot do so. Reason he knows only the books, but the practical part is not known. Okay. Then the other one who is the other one who has not gone to school has problems with calculating on paper. When you give on paper, tell the person two plus one, it will be trouble. But when it is come, cannot even get lost in one, can give you results very fast, can give you the change and everything, can do the sales and very fast. But where is the difference? We have the practical part and the knowledge part of it. So where would someone be learning? So what we are looking at is try to equip yourself with that given knowledge. It is very, very key. Okay? Don't culture just numbers and stuff. Look at the application. That is my major point that I'm emphasizing on. Okay? As far as the syllabus is concerned. So these are the types of questions you, you are expected to look at, okay? These questions here, these are the ones you're going to meet. You may not meet these ones here, solo for this, get this, uh -uh. those ones are what, but now what you're looking at is application. Can you apply that? Okay. Most of us, Okay, perimeter of our given shape, maybe for example, a rectangle where you say you're going to say side plus side plus side, and then you get the total. But we are now not going to look at that. We are going to look at go to the field, go to the pitch, or, or go to the pitch. Do those measurements yourself. Okay, carry on the measurements by yourself. Get a tape measure, go and measure that the length of that given field. Okay, or a given swimming pool. Go and measure those dimensions. After that, come back and then do the calculations. That's what we are looking at. Can you be able to set up something for people? So that is what we are looking at. So dear learners, uh, this is what the syllabus is all about. I know I'll get more questions about it, but we'll be able to share as we move on. But what we are saying is, do not just look at what? Solo V. Okay? Look at this one here also. Let's look at another question here. You'll see, find the, the, the last one here. Application. Okay? Yeah, here. A bus has a maximum number of passengers when it leaves the bus station. The first stop, half of the passengers are lighting. At the next stop, seven passengers. Then 16. How many passengers were on the bus when it left the bus station? That is application, okay? So when you have all the other knowledge, dear members, you can be able to handle the rest of the work, okay? So that is what the syllabus is going to teach you. So when you get, well, right now when you're in your, when you're in your homes, do those calculations and everything. When you get to school, Try to make sure you get more of the what? Of the application. Okay? Put more effort in. How do I get this? How do I apply this? How do I apply percentages? How do I apply the basis? How do I apply personally myself? All those things that we have looked at. Okay? So that is what the syllabus is about. Okay? As far as what we need to cover is concerned. Okay, so uh, moving on, moving on. So when you look at the syllabus, dear members, that is what it is about. It is about just some things that you have looked at, but we look at more of the practical aspects of that. Moment. Okay, moving on. What else do we need to know? What is expected of you as a student? What are you supposed to do now that we know that these same things I'm going to cover are in the what? I already know them in primary. I've looked at them every now and then. What am I supposed to do? Okay. What is expected of me? What is X1? You must 
and always do the research. Okay, without the teacher, but if someone might, if the teacher is not there, now what am I going to do? In your schools, you have library, you have textbooks. I've told you one of the first textbooks we have in review is that what? Is that a learner's guide? It's the very first one which should be have. If you don't have the learner's guide, please try as much as you can to get it. Okay? So you are going to try to discuss that with your friends. Okay? Discussion, mathematics discussion is a very key thing here, learners. If you don't discuss, you're not going to pass. That's that I'm very sure. Okay? At least uh, I have seen this happen, and you can try to do this. Try to do more of the research work. So why are we going to get this information? The internet. Please, once you get the internet at your disposal, don't just use it to watch videos, to watch songs and what. Try to utilize it to get calculations in numbers. Okay. Okay. Let me give you an example. How do I be able to search? Let me show you something. Someone might say, but teacher, how do I really start searching for something? What you can try to do so. Let me share with you something here. Let me share with you how you can be able to wish, how you can be able to, uh, to do that research. Take an example. If you have, if you have to search for a video, you can search for a certain video. Okay, take an example. You can say, okay, now I don't know how to apply. Maybe I don't know how to apply. I don't know how to apply a certain topic. How do I apply it? Okay, you can say how to apply percentages. Okay, in mathematics. Okay percentages in mathematics then you search for that information so you see that you get several results so you keep on looking at it you say how do i look at that in real life then you play that video and then you learn something you share it with your friends okay don't keep it with yourself share it with your friends and then you'll be able to work out very well so keep sharing this information keep looking out for all this given what is given resources. So that's what I'm trying to ensure. Try to search for this information over the internet next to This syllabus, by the way, is a lot of work as a student. Much as the Topics are the same, but you are going to have mathematics. Okay, one thing. That's it. Secondly, look at your surrounding. Okay, look at your homes. Okay, look at your homes. What is around home? How do I see mathematics there in my home? Okay, in my village. That is what we are, that's what we need to focus on. Then uh, finally, avoid prior grammar, members. Avoid, avoid grammar. Do not do grammar work. Okay? Don't do grammar work. Okay? Don't just say, now I'm cramming a certain formula. If this is equal to this, then it is. Don't cram here, members. Don't. Okay? If you do cram, cram, you're going to really get a challenge as far as that is concerned. So avoid avoid try as much as you can to avoid the pram work as much as possible okay so um hey those of you that see background noise actually i'm close to parliament and there is something funny that is going on so that is where why you hear that is around but i hope you can still be able to hear as well so um finally let's look at the assessment and the, as i said the assessment is quite the same as all the other subjects okay the assessment is quite the same as all the other subjects one we expect two types of assessments we have the topics the topical okay? 
every topic that you finish here, members, you are going to be given work on it. And once you're given work on it, try to do it knowing that it is your final exam. Okay? Take it like it's your final exam. Because after every topic, that work is going to be assessed at the end of your work, at the end of your your senior form. So when you finish a topic in number basis, know there is a certain mark which is going to add on to your final. When you get a topic on maybe constructions, that topic is going to take something. So at the end of it all, you realize that it is focus on it, do that assessment, and then you hand it. Those of you who have been doing dodging exercises, you're in trouble. Okay. Try as much as you can to do those exercises and hand them in. And if at all your results don't return, please make an alarm that, oh, teacher, ah, 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 something is wrong somewhere. I've not received my marks because they are going to affect your final performance. Then, of course, these other ones that are from your name, there is other ones from your name that will be able to. Uh, get the, the, the assessment and all. That is also that is also there. So try uh, as much as you can to look at that as well. So there will be that uh, final one that will be there, but that final one takes just a small, uh, another percentage of the, of the final result, like 60%. So the other percentage will come from the school and everything. So try as much as you can. So with the topics, please, topic assessment, work with your members. Because it's, sometimes you've seen some questions. Eh? In a group of this, if they say in a group and for you, you want to bring the work alone, uh -uh, it's not about, you have to do it in a group. And I told you with mathematics, practice, practice, practice. And you can practice a lot of cases. You can practice with your friends. And when you do that, then be sure everything is going to go on well. So work with your friends at all times. Don't work alone. Okay? Try to engage your friends. Tell your friends, this class and everything, you'll get some marks by the way. Okay? That's the beauty with this lab. It allows you to work with your friends. Okay? And the mark that you get as with your friend is the same mark that you will give them. So you'll get something like this. So every topic, as we say, it will be different for the So don't lose your focus on your exercises. Don't lose focus on that. Okay? Don't lose focus on your exercises. Try as much as you can to be able to uh, work them out at any one level. Okay? All right. So um, I think that is what we will do, talk about. Now, finally, as I talk about, I always keep telling this to my learners that do everything you can to practice mathematics. Okay? Do everything that you can to do more and more practice as far as this is concerned. And be sure your grades will be on point. You have the best grades around as long well as you keep on the practice. As I said, look at the practical knowledge of the mathematics. Around. Mathematics is so much around you in house, in your house. You can even wake up one morning and start measuring that the, 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 the perimeter around the, the what the length around your sides, and you get the perimeter, and then you get all those other things, the areas and what. Start from there. Don't wait for questions. Okay. If you can challenge yourself, can I be able to get maybe the circumference of this cup? If I have this cup here, and can I be able to get a circumference of that given cup? Can you be able to get it? Okay. Can you get your measure and you get your radius? Okay. Can you measure and get the diameter of that given cup? It is around you. You have cups around there. Okay. You have TVs around there. And they say that TV is
can you be able to go and measure and get those 14 inches? How will they make for us and best breaks? Okay, thank you so much. Uh, I want to pick on some questions or two, uh, some questions here, and then I'll be able to respond to them before we come to an end of this. All right, I'm going to pick on one question at a time. Okay, let me start with Tedo, Joy. Uh, teacher, wait, I'm asking. Let, wait, first hold on, Tedo, Joy, okay. are you this male or female? I'm a male. Okay, okay. all right, it's okay, go ahead. Uh, teacher, is the meeting recurring or stopping today? It's recurring, it's recurring, it's recurring. Every it's recurring. day, 10 a.m. Yes, please. I think it's up okay. to 15 a.m. So, so. Okay. okay, good. Let me get more questions about our discussion as far as mathematics is concerned, and then we'll be able to uh, conclude. Please, any question maybe about the topics, uh, maybe about the assessment or about the uh, about what you expect to do, what you should be having, and so on and so forth. Uh, Infinix light, I don't know who is this. Infinix light, something, someone? Someone with an Infinix then? Yes, yes, sir. yes please. Well, mom, just asking. Yes, please. Yes. Shall we do the work in the textbook only, or we shall add another work? I mean, when we are back to school. Okay, noted. So, uh, is uh, what is asking that shall we only do the work in the textbook alone? Oh, we shall also have our work. Now, the work in the textbook is to just give you a picture of what is going to be taught. Okay? If you find that there is just one number that is there, when you get to school, teachers will give you several similar numbers. They are similar to that, eh? meaning they are closely related to what is there. In the book. So you'll get more other numbers when you get to school. Okay? You'll get more and more other numbers as well. So. You don't have to rely on what is there, please. Uh, that's why I say, when you're researching, take note of different areas. Check the internet, check the text, the different textbooks and so on and so forth, okay? So don't only rely on that. So you will be getting more other work as well. Um, let me talk it from Isigoma, Emma. Yes, Isigoma. <laughs> Yes, teacher. Uh, I think that in this kind of we this we shall be doing this one as usual. Okay. okay, I hope I get your topic, your, your question well. Now, uh, you're talking about what shall you do? Um, now, usually at school, usually at school, what you'll be doing, you'll be doing those topical exams. Topical exams or topical tests give you an assessment of what you've studied at the end of the topic. Okay? So at the end of every topic, you'll be getting an assessment. End of every topic, you'll be getting an assessment. You'll not have this end of term examination or this one. No, you'll have topical examinations. Topical meaning that at the end of every topic, okay, you'll be assessed and your marks will be kept. At the end of another topic, you'll also be assessed like that, like that. So that is what is going to happen. So you'll be given, uh, you'll be given topics and work with. As I have showed you, okay? that is what you're going to do. Not these other ones of uh, exams at the end. No, we have those exams at the end of the uh, but you'll be working. Okay, um, next. 
Uh, there is someone asking, how do we get the books from the internet? How do we get the books from the internet? Now, uh, as far as the internet is concerned, look at this link which has been shared with you here. Check that link which is having https slash slash border. Okay, tap on that link and it will be able to guide you. It will lead you to download those books as well. Um, next, Bavire Marion. Marion. If I'm absent, if I'm absent, still I get marks or I don't get. When you're absent, you don't get marks. When you're absent, you are supposed to come back and ask for that test that your friends have done. Okay. So meaning, when I'm absent, maybe I was sick and my friends did the other top test last weekend. When you come back, go to the teacher and get the top test. If you don't, you're going to get a zero. And that zero is going to affect you in your final senior four results. What is supposed to be done? Make sure it is now up to you and to go back there. But if you don't, wait, it is so try and meet as much as possible. Um, okay, okay, okay. Uh, taking a spark, is someone called taking a spark too? Taking a spark too, you can't speak to us. Taking us back, yes, yes, yes. Where do you get the books or the, the books? Eh? See the books? If I got your point very well, I think you're asking about where you can be able to pick the books. Eh? So check your yes, check, the book. check the yeah uh, check the chat again. There is that link which is there. When you tap on it, it will lead you to it will lead you to that given site where you can be able to download. I'll share it with it with you again. Just give it a chat. Okay. So you tap that link and then it will lead you to that okay. but, Good. Uh, next, the other. Any other question? Okay, anyone with any other question? Okay, I, I think everything has been has been got right so far. So as we come to an end, yes, um launch to my page, yes to teacher, like I had that when yes, that when shall I have things I'm going to be doing during the time that I'm going to contribute to the results as far yes, 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 yes. as in Sure. That in this new curriculum, mm. that all the class in Sunday are going to contribute to our results of senior four. Yes, which is true, yes. Uh, we lost you. I think it's, it's a network issue. I'm not yesterday. Okay, I think we lost to Muruji. Yes, Muruji, what you said, it is true. It is very, very true. But uh, what you're going to, whatever you're going to do, is going to contribute to your final result. That's why we were saying that every topic must be worked on. You must be able to, you must be assessed in all those great topics. And at the end of the month, they will, they will try to affect your final as well. Okay. Next, okay. 
So uh, finally, as we come to a close, uh, as I say that, um, please try as much as you can to do the practice, okay? The more you practice, the better your grace will be. If you do not practice, then you will be going, you will be having shaky, shaky results, okay? So try as much as you can to practice, okay? practice as much as you can. Don't give up, okay? And the practice that we are doing with your friends, do it with your friends, okay? Share knowledge. If you don't share knowledge in mathematics, you're going to have quite big issues. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening. Uh, I hope that this shall be something that will be beneficial to you. This presentation will be shared with you so that you can be able to uh, work through as well. Um, I don't know if Mr. Dupa, you're still there? Uh, Mr. Dumba? Yes, yes, Mr. Samari. Yes, please. Uh, can we have a, a word from the director of studies first, then I will conclude. Okay, please. Thank you so much, Mr. Dumba. Mr. Jones, we are very happy and uh, we are glad. Thank you so much for taking us through. Uh, I thank the senior ones on board. Thank you very much for being active participants. We urge you to subscribe to our platform, inform others to join in. And uh, we are going to meet again tomorrow. The program is still continuing throughout the week. Tomorrow we have English language and literature by teacher Larry O'Neill. Please don't forget to come in again. 10 to 11.30. Otherwise, we are next generation class. Inform a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Thank you very much, Mr. Jones, for that extensive syllabus coverage you've given us. I hope all the learners are now having an idea of what to expect as they join senior one. You have made the concept seem easy. Thank you very much. That is what I have to say. Uh, thank you so much, teacher Drusilla. And I want to thank Mr. Moses for some money. Uh, as a parent, uh, we don't understand this curriculum well. So in attendance, I was also one of your learners. Uh, I really understood why we did this, this new curriculum. And I've seen how it helps us uh, 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 apply mathematics in everyday life. I wish this is what we went through when we were, when we were younger. Thank you so much, Mr. Samari. And please, 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 and please keep, keep doing the good work for everybody because I've been amazed by what you've done. And now for our learners, uh, I have a, a, a few announcements to make. Uh, I want to show them our website. Let me see. Let me see if I can get the, the website. So I want to share our website with the learners such that they can visit uh, it for, for reference purposes. Uh, on our screen, that is our website, www.senior1.org. So we have the home, we have the about us, uh, the subjects page, we have the subjects page, and then notice board, and then the, and then the, just a moment. Uh, 
Uh, sorry for the interruption. Uh, this is our website, www.senior1.org. So if you want the learner's books, please go to the notice board here. You'll get all the learner's books in all uh, the subjects. Uh, just to remind you why senior1.org is here. One, we want to cater for your academics. And then two, we want to do something that other e-learning platforms are not doing. We want to help you, we want to be your counselors. If there is a learner who is going through hell, a learner who's having issues at home, a learner who's having issues with friends in the community and the neighborhood, please, we have our counselor, teacher Dosila Namoma, she will help you just, uh, it's free of charge. Uh, the counseling sessions are free of charge at any time, please. Don't hide there with your issues. Please don't stress. We have a counselor for you online. And then we're also going to help you with career guidance. We want to guide you, we want to be your mentors. We want to be your, part, your, your partners in your, in your dreams that will help you achieve those dreams by giving you career guidance. We are going to get uh, uh, people or guests who are going to come and talk to us. Many of them, like I said in our Saturday meeting, we have many lined up. And then we know and believe that many of you have talents. So our e-learning platform is going to give you that, uh, is, is going to, we are going to give you a platform where you can showcase your talent, especially the writers. If you can write a good poem, if you can write a good article, a good story or a good experience, anything, please just write your story and please inbox us. We are going to post your your story on this website with your photo and any activity that you could be doing are you singing are you an artist uh, whatever you do and you feel you want to show the world your talent this is why senior1.org is here now uh, if you go down our our website uh, on the footer you can see a list of our a list of our subjects here from art and design, biology, chemistry, up to physics. So now let us go to the math lesson, for example. So that's why we are encouraging you, please, by next week, uh, each of you, each of you, please be ready to pay fifty thousand so that you'll get access to all these lessons. For now, uh, due to what the parents informed us, they said uh, we can start this week, but payment will be done later. Dia is the syllabus Mr. Samari was taking you through. Our syllabus here has 53 lessons and it starts with the number bases. So you'll have a video on identifying the number of different bases on the abacus and then the place values using the abacus, converting numbers. And then as you go down, our each of these lessons has a video. We have another topic here, working with integers. All these are videos for you. Then we have fractions and percentages, and, and you continue, the topics are, are many in, in, in mathematics. So please uh, enroll to this program next week. It's only 50,000 uh, for the whole of this month. Uh, it will be a different arrangement next year. And we want you to watch these videos. That is only if you are enrolled, so that even when you miss a lesson due to some circumstances, you can come back to our website as long as you are enrolled watch these videos and your assignments. I want to remind you as learners, at the end of every topic in this new curriculum, there is going to be an assessment or what you call an exam. You are going to be assessed in that particular topic. And the marks you get in that topic will be added on your marks at S4. So if you start S1 uh, in a playful mode, and then you don't perform well, it is going to affect your marks, your overall marks at S4. So please, learners, make use of senior1.org. The lessons are going to be there. We have a YouTube channel, uh, senior1.org. Please subscribe to that, uh, that uh, YouTube channel so that you can even see any other communication that we shall be giving you. Then another advantage with senior1.org is that uh, we are, the French lessons are going to be free for all of you. You're going to learn French. We want a graduate of senior1.org to be able to communicate in French. Then we are also going to give you free ICT lessons. 
At the end of our course, you will get a certificate uh, of proficiency in the use of, uh, of, of computer. So that is my communication. We have an English lesson tomorrow at 10 again, uh, to, uh, to from 10 to 10, 10 to 11.30. Please remind your parents that payment is supposed to be done on Monday for you to be able to access all these resources. Thank you so much. And uh, I beg to end this lesson here. Uh, I don't know whether there's anything else to communicate. Is there any other communication from, from the DOS or? No, Mr. Domba. We can end the meeting. Okay, thank you so much. Please don't forget our, our numbers. Let me share our, our official number. Uh, our official number is uh, uh, just 0200907137. It's an Airtel number. And our website is www.senior1.org. Our email is info at senior1.org. If you want any, to ask for anything, please use that number above 0200 is even on WhatsApp. Thank you so much. Bye.